Hey guys, Bearfox here and today I will be showing you guys how to optimize Apex Legends to get better FPS, fix lags and stutters so make sure to stick around till the end. I hope this video helps you out so please consider leaving a like since it helps me out a lot. And with all that said, let's roll the intro. Alright, let's move step wise. Step number one is enabling the game mode. For those who don't know how to do it, press windows key and then type in game mode. Once you are here, make sure that game mode is enabled. Right over there you will find something called graphic settings. Click on that and over here click on this browse button. Go to the install location of your Apex Legends and then add Apex Legends. Then click on options and then make sure to use high performance. Next thing is to disable the startup apps. For that, press Ctrl, Shift and Escape all together and you'll open Task Manager. I also wanna let you guys know about Booya, an app where streamers from all over the world are uploading best of their content. Recently, they have this amazing event going on called Flaunt Your Lobby where you guys can share your Free Fire Max lobby on Booya and get amazing rewards for free. Download Booyah today, links are in the description below. Right over here, go to startup and then make sure to disable all the unwanted applications by just right clicking and then disabling them. Next thing is the Nvidia control panel settings. You right click at any empty space of your desktop and then click Nvidia control panel. Once you are here, locate manage 3D settings and then go to program settings. Then click on this little add button over here. And then you have to find Apex Legends. Hit add selected program and then scroll down for CUDA GPUs. Use the following GPU, hit OK. For low latency mode, make sure to put it on off. For open GL rendering, go and choose your graphic card. For power management mode, go to prefer maximum performance. For texture filtering quality, go to high performance for threaded optimization go to on and then for vertical sync go for off i highly recommend you guys to do these settings and then hit apply next thing you have to download this apex legends fps pack i'll be leaving a link to this in the description below once you download and extract it a folder like this will open up right in front of you the first folder is command line in this, you'll find a text file with this message. All you have to do is copy it and then open up Steam. Look at Apex Legends, right click on that and go to Properties. Then in general, for launch option, paste the same code over here and then close it. Go back to the folder and then you'll find something called delete temp files. All you have to do is right click and run this as administrator. This batch file will automatically delete the temporary files of your PC. Next, you have to install Quick CPU. Once you open up Quick CPU, all you have to do is for system plan, make sure that you are using the high performance. If you want to know how to get bits and performance, go watch my previous videos. Then make sure that all of these three bars are working at 100% as well as the performance is working at 100%. If not, you can just stretch them all the way to 100 and then click apply. Also, go to memory and then make sure to click on clean. As you guys can see, the in-use memory has been falling down as soon as I click the clean button. I highly recommend you guys to do this memory thing before you open up the game every time. Go back to the folder and you'll find something called registries. Once you are here, you'll find a lot of registries in here which is made by my friend Letranger, so make sure you guys go check him out. Alright, right click on these registries and then click on merge. Start merging all of these registries as this will disable all of the useless functions of your computer and save a lot more memory and dedicate your processor into gaming. Last but not the least, we have timer resolution. Just open up this application, click on this maximum button and then minimize this app. After doing all of those things, open up your Apex Legends. Now once you are in game, all you have to do is click on this game settings over here and then go to settings. 
Once you're in settings, go to video section and over here make sure you always use full screen as your display mode. For aspect ratio, always go to your native aspect ratio and a native resolution. Then for vsync, make sure that it is disabled, nvidia reflex, make sure that it is enabled plus boost, anti-aliasing, none. For texture streaming budget, make sure to scroll it all the way down. Then for texture filtering, go for bilinear, ambient occlusion quality, make sure to go on low. And then for sun shadow coverage, low and sun shadow detail low. For spot shadow detail, go for disable and then volumetric lighting, disable this thing as well as the dynamic spot shadows. Also for model detail, go for low and effect detail, go for low. For impact marks, you guys can leave it on low or high, it doesn't really matter. And for ragdolls, make sure to go for low. After doing these settings, just hit apply. After following those simple steps, I believe your problems have been fixed. If this video has helped you, make sure to do leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel for more awesome guys like this. See y'all in the next video, until then stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.